All right, Fox News alert. President Biden is set to speak at the top of the hour before the U.S. stock market opens. All as Wall Street braces for the fallout of two failed banks, the collapse of Silicon Valley Bank being felt around the world as the bank's British arm has been now purchased by HSBC Holdings for the price of one pound. UK native and host of Piers Morgan Uncensored on Fox Nation. Piers Morgan is here to react. So, Piers, uh, what's your reaction to this? Um, are, are we in trouble? Well, first of all, I've been called a UK native. Makes me sound quite intriguing, so thank you for that. Uh, <laughs> uh, look, I think the, the UK has moved pretty quickly here, actually. Uh, they had the benefit of a weekend to sort this out. They've moved in quickly. The Treasury, the Prime Minister, they persuaded HSC, HSBC to buy it for a pound, $1.20. And that seems to have calmed things temporarily. I guess the real question was twofold, isn't it? Is any taxpayer money anywhere in the UK, US, anywhere else going to have to be used to try and bail out this crisis? I think the answer for most of the public, most of the taxpayers, is absolutely not. So I think the, the, the administrations, both in the US and UK, are very mindful of that. But secondly, what's the ripple effect going to be? Mm -hmm. How many other small banks, possibly you know, mid to larger banks, may be in trouble if this carries on? So these are uh, testing times for both Joe Biden and for Rishi Sunak, the Prime Minister here. Yeah, everybody is worried about that ripple effect. I want to get your uh, comment on another topic. So apparently Prince Archie and Prince Lilibet reportedly have been excluded from their grandfather's uh, King Charles coronation. Um, and also Prince Andrew is upset that he hasn't received any of the Queen's two, uh, almost $800 million fortune. Uh, first, your reaction to the grandchildren not being invited. Well, you know, Lawrence, we used to watch Dallas and Dynasty over here in the UK. Mm -hmm. And we used to think, God, oh, these people are so ridiculous. They're rich, they're entitled, they're spoiled. There's always a drama. Now we have our royal family, and they're behaving exactly the same way. And I think we're all probably like you, getting a little bit tired of the Meghan and Harry rodeo, which seems to try and make everything the royals do about them. Now, let's be clear. Uh, Archie is three years old. Lilibet is one. They're way too young, in my estimation, having had four kids, to be stuck in an abbey watching a coronation bang on for hours on end. So I think it would be ridiculous for them to be there, especially having flown all the way from California with all the jet lag. Uh, but what we know about the Duke and Duchess of Sussex is they will always want to have as much airtime around the real royals, the A-listers that they can do, they can get, so that they can make money off the back of it. We've seen that with the Netflix documentary, the book, and so on. So I suspect Meghan and Harry will want their kids there simply because it shows their own expanded, titled, royal rival family. Well, I tell you this, Pierce, I'm from Dallas. I mean, this, this drama right here supersedes it, and this is real life. What about Prince Andrew? And, and, and his approval rating is higher, and he's the one that's, you know, sexually assaulted women, higher than the Markles. And I say the yeah, Markles I mean, because he might as well have her last name. <laughs> I actually like calling them the Markles. I, I, I'm actually from Sussex, which is a county in England. I object to them being called the Duke and Duchess of Sussex because I've spent more time in Sussex this weekend <laughs> than they have ever spent in their entire lives. <laughs> so I want those titles removed. I don't understand also why Meghan and Harry, the Markles, I love that title, well done, Norris. <laughs> uh, why the Markles? Why do the Markles want to give their kids these titles? Have they got permission from their children? No. I thought they said I thought they said the monarchy was a ghastly prison camp this run by true. callous rapists. Why would they want their kids to have these titles? So you then come to Prince Andrew, who is incredibly more popular than the Markles in America right now. He he wants his late mother's money. Well, of course he does, because he's had to give most of his own money away to a woman he claims he never met who made allegations of sexual assault against him. So the whole thing, like you say, and like I pointed out, makes Dallas look like a tea party, and we're still, <laughs> what, weeks away from the coronation. By the time May 6th comes, all hell will be breaking loose. You know, Pierce, I've never been to a tea party. you got to invite me up there sometime. <laughs> I wore well, a double-breasted yeah, suit. You might as well invite me for the tea, too, brother. I, we, don't, we tend to avoid tea parties uh, <laughs> when it comes to Britain and America for obvious reasons. Right. It didn't go to <laughs> 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 Thank you, Pierce. <laughs> Make sure to watch Thank Pierce you. Morgan Uncensored on Fox Nation weekdays at 4.30. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmey. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.